If you struggle with worry, I wanna share with you a story that I actually also shared in my book. So when I was 12 years old, a war started in my homeland, Croatia, where I was born and spent most of my childhood. And I remember so clearly the night the war started. I remember so clearly the sound of grenades. Grenades meant danger. Grenades meant run to the nearest basement, find shelter, stay away from windows, definitely stay inside and stay safe. So then I moved to the US and one of the biggest holidays here is the 4th of July. And I used to dread 4th of July. Here's what it looked like from my perspective. I would get invited to a 4th of July party and then I'd spend the day cooking whatever red, white, and blue side dish I signed up to bring. And I'd show up to the backyard party and pretend everything was cool. I'm loving this day, it's great. And then the fireworks would start and I would freak out, but only on the inside. On the outside, I pretended I was happy as can be. And then I would excuse myself, pretending I have a headache or something, and I would go inside the house and I would stay there until the fireworks were over. I have this one very clear memory um, when my oldest was very little, just taking him inside and sitting in the bathroom in the corner, just waiting for it to stop. See, anyone who has experienced war will tell you that fireworks, unsurprisingly, sound exactly like other less festive kind of explosions. And no matter how many years had passed since the last time I heard actual grenades, as soon as the fireworks show started on July 4th, I would tense up. Fireworks gave me anxiety, a feeling of uneasiness, an urge to run to the nearest basement. Because what is in my head is powerful. Then a few years ago, I had an epiphany. Instead of running away and hiding, I need to see the fireworks for what they actually are. Maybe if I can see them, I can disconnect the sounds from the war and be present for what is actually happening. So I tried it. I went outside, I stared at the fireworks, and guess what? It worked. It worked. So now, when I hear fireworks, instead of running away from them, I run toward them. Because that way I can see them for what they actually are instead of what I painted them to be in my head. Here's why I tell you that story. Most of us struggle with worry, especially once we become parents, right? The baby comes out and the worry goes in, and the guilt, but that's for another time. And see, when we worry, we basically live inside the what ifs of our memories of every bad thing that has ever happened in our past or every bad thing that could ever happen in the future. We get stuck in that. It's like we're sitting in a bathroom corner, just marinating in our worry, waiting. We've run inside, hid away from any possibility of happiness and beauty. What is in our head is powerful. See, constantly worrying about the future isn't going to change the future, but it will make us miserable in the present. And if we're willing to get out of our little dread-filled cocoon and keep our eyes wide open to see things for what they actually are, we might find that there's actually more to celebrate in life than there is to worry about.